guys here is our dining area so um again it's plain um we just got like our table set and our chairs and i kind of just want to like match the dining room colors around this table a lot of beige neutral colors mainly gray so um the first thing i'm going to do is redo our stools and i'll insert a clip um, just to show you guys how these bar stools look that we have, I'm going to redo those by spray painting the legs gray. And then I'm going to redo this awesome cabinet that I have. This cabinet is very special to me because it was given to me by my grandmother, um, who is now my guardian angel. Um, so it's a very, very special cabinet to me. I plan on keeping it forever. And I'm just going to uh, redo it just to um, change the color so that it can match my table. And you guys guessed it right, I'm gonna be using my favorite peel and stick to go ahead and redo this cabinet. So here is one of my stools before I got to spray paint it. And unfortunately, I lost the footage of me actually spray painting the stool. But nonetheless, here are some amazing cushion covers that I found on Amazon. And they come in all different sizes which is awesome I'm just gonna go ahead and slip these over the cushions of my stools and as you can see I went ahead and spray painted the legs of my stools a rustic chalk grayish color I didn't do any prepping I just took the gray spray paint and spray painted over the brown legs and they turned out seamless so now I have these amazing wall planters that I found on Amazon as well um, I'm just going to go ahead and place them on both sides of my mirror there. And then I thought, hmm, it would be pretty freaking cute if I put these shrubs in my planters. Um, it just gave a nice pop of color with all of the gray. And oh, I dropped it. <laughs> uh, I like the way that it turned out. So here is the white wood pill and stick paper that I'm going to be using to revamp my cabinet. Um, I ordered this from, you guessed it, <laughs> Amazon. Um, and then here I am just cutting a piece to go ahead and fit that top part. It's my lovely husband always helping me out because teamwork makes the dream work. And we're just going to basically go ahead and get this entire cabinet covered with this paper. And if you guys aren't familiar with Peel and Stick, um, I suggest you go ahead and check out our previous videos. We have used Peel and Stick contact paper throughout our entire place, uh, mainly in our kitchen for our cabinets, our floors, and our countertops. Yeah, so go ahead and check those out and you can get a more in-depth tutorial on how we use this exactly. background I am struggling getting that second shelf out so <laughs> don't mind me guys but my husband is over there just getting the sides covered and yeah it's coming along nicely
this point, uh, we decided that we wanted to take the cabinet doors off so that we could really focus on um, covering the inside of the cabinet. just covering the trim of the doors. And here is an awesome rug that I found at Ross and it was only 37 bucks you guys. Um, so I was really really excited about that and the colors just matched everything perfectly. So now I'm back at my table and I'm going to add my favorite little plant and candle there. And here's the before of how my cabinet looked and here's the after. Oh my gosh, what a transformation. Just taking it from brown to white really just changed up the mood of it all. And here is the overall result so far. Um, I like how everything ties together, although I am not completely done, I do plan on adding a few key touches. And if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell for more. Bye!